Hey guys, this is a new series, not really a series, it's just that, uh, well, if I should differently name my videos, because usually I'll name it Mac vs. PC when I'm talking about Apple stuff, but I really realize that really has nothing to do with, sometimes I don't mention PCs at all, sometimes it's not even, you know, fight really between the two, or, you know, discussion, I should say, between the two, uh, but, uh, it's basically, uh, I'll probably just call this Apple Tech or Apple Talk, whatever, A -tech, whatever you want to name it. I'll probably just make it A Tech or, you know, for short, Apple Talk, Apple Tech. Because uh, when I always have tech, because I love technology, Tech World is the name of my company that I started. And, uh, yeah, so probably Apple Tech. Basically, I just wanted to talk about stuff on Apple, you know, solely for Apple, not anything like, you know, I'm not going to dog on PC or dog on Apple, you know, either way, I'm not going to dog on either one or even Linux, you know, mainly for Apple. I'll probably make one for Linux, I'll probably make, you know, make one for, most likely I already have stuff on PC because I do my Windows tutorial, so, you know. Anyways, guys, in this edition, I want to start off with, uh, talking about patenting the pinch for Apple and, uh, some MVP updates. MVP stands for MacBook Pro, so I'll try and slice those, those that's my little bit of a part of the video, but I'll just start off with patenting the pinch. Uh, this is courtesy of dig.com, D-A-G-G.com. Basically, you can share your, you know, articles out there and see how many digs they get, and, uh, there was one dig talking about patenting the pinch is, is it possible? Uh, and, uh, um, basically that is, uh, about multi-touch gestures for the, uh, from Apple trying to patent it. Now, if you don't know what patent is, you're trying to get a, like, uh, how should I explain this? Uh, here, let me actually go to. Let me see something. I'm gonna go to dictionary.com. I don't know. Okay, I guess you would say, in my words, it'd be something like they're claiming it. It's there. You can't like. Uh, for example. Okay. Uh, for example. Okay. And Gatorade. If I just have to drink that. You know how they have the little thunder little sign through it. Now, if they pat in that that logo, nobody else can use that thunder little that that specific thunder logo in their logos. You, you see what I'm saying? Or uh, they once you pat in something, it's your idea. Nobody else can use. You know, you can pat in a song, you can pat in a book, you can pat in a uh, video. If you, you know stuff like that, there's copyright to videos, stuff like that. So. You, a patent is here by dictionary.com. It says the exclusive right granted by government to an investor or a manufacturer. So whoever invented it or manufactured it has those rights. Now you can pass a patent on to a company if you get like if you get bought by another company or something like that. So that's just a little introduction to patents. And if you have uh, you know stuff like the MagSafe connectors is patented by Apple. Uh, now I believe they try to patent the G the GUI or I should say the GUI. Uh, graphic user interface because of, uh, you know, I've heard some stuff about that. And they have uh, since been working back and since 2004, I believe, with, uh, no, no, this one they've been working on recently with the iPhone and the iPod Touch on uh, patenting the interface of the, uh, you know, the whole the icons and all that stuff on the iPhone and iPod Touch. They're pretty similar, so they've been trying to patent the interface as well. And um, really, they're trying to get patenting for not only the pinch gesture, but for all most multi-touch gestures that they really, you know, I shouldn't say, here, let me tell you something in here, invented, but, you know, really, some they invented the gestures, but, you know, really, uh, make changes in anything established. Now, wh where is that from? That's from the word innovative, something that Apple does great. You know, they don't, have to, you know, the definition for innovative, of course, to introduce something new or make changes in anything established. So they're not making something new, but they are establishing, it, you know, they're they're going on with it. They're making it go further, uh, and that's talking more about uh, the multi-touch interface, you know, that they have, especially recently on the MacBook Air, how they brought the iPhone, you know, the pinch. This is basically what I'm talking about. You make a zoom into a 40 pinch like this, or you pinch out to zoom out. Now they have other ones like double, when you scroll, you can scroll like this on the MacBook Pro, I believe, and I'm not sure about the MacBook, but they're pr trying to uh, patent features like that. Now, the iPhone itself has over 200 patents on it, so you, you see how much they've been trying to work with that. Uh, and they've, uh, you know, you've seen, uh, 
soon updates for the MacBook Pro. Uh, I heard releasing, uh, according to MacRumors.com, they said, I think they say Tuesday, and that's going to be upgraded possibly with a Penryn chip, the new Intel's Penryn chips, uh, and the 17 inch LCD, I mean, the 17 inch uh, background, uh, the 17 inch monitors with the MacBook Pro, you'll be able to get it in here. Let me just make sure I'll double check with that. But, uh, and then, of course, the multi touch in the multi touch pad from the MacBook Air will all be placed into that. Now, this is just for the MacBook Pro, which is said the update's released on, um, they call that to be released on, uh, the Tuesday. So, make sure to check that out as well. But, anyways, going on, uh, the iPhone and iPod touch gestures is really what they're aiming at. Which, which the iPhone mainly, uh, it was able to, you know, concrete or, you know, combine all these, I believe, an uh, uh, article by, I think it was Wired.com, or Wired, if you heard of them, said that they have the, how they're able to really compact all the gestures in one concrete, you know, gadget, you know, solidly built the iPhone. Of course, there's some stuff with it, you know, you can have your argue, you can have your opinions on it, but, you know, the multi-touch gestures, the touch gestures it has makes it easy to get around. And they were able to enable that, so you know one feature works with another. And of course, they have their apps like on the computer, on the photo booth, how you can mess with your photos and stuff like that. You know, rotating and stuff like that. So, uh, a little background: Fingerworks is a company uh, that was bought by App Apple. Bought it was ran by Wayne Westerman and John Elias, which were helping them get patents on s stuff like the touch when they were out in the making of the iPhone and iPod Touch and all that stuff back since 2004. So four years ago, they've been, since they've been working on these patents secretly, getting more and more patents for these touch features. Now, they, uh, according to articles, it is very possible to get a patent on this, and uh, basically it would have to change the all the other markets to, you know, if they have a the zoom-in feature like the pinch, like Apple, they would have to change that, you know. Some companies have been working at this too, to get their own patents on them. So, you know, don't just say Apple's trying to take it for themselves. Uh, I believe Nokia was one of them. A lot of other ones are trying to get patents on the multi-touch because if they can get this guy's, you know, and other people can't use it, it's their sole idea. And, no, not idea, but uh, their uh, how should I say? It's it's there. You know, they can make. I guess you can say they make more, not really more money out of it, but you know, nobody else can use it besides them. So. If anybody else was to use it, I guess then the, I believe you'd assume because if, if you have a patent on it, like, nobody can go out there and use MagSafe without Apple's permission, of course. So there has to be special permission involved in it. And uh, by the way, for the MacBook Pro, is the oh an LED screen, LED backlit for the, Mac, the new MacBook Pro with 17-inch model only. So uh, yeah, and the new, of course, multi-touch trackpad. Um, but anyways guys, so a lot of the new trackpads and stuff like that are going to be replaced and updated with all these multi-touch gestures that the iPhone, will, so laptops, uh, phones, iPods are all being, you know, the gestures of it are all trying to get a patent. And this is big because if this happens, Apple's going to own a lot of the market, you know, market with this. You know, nobody else can use these gestures per se. They're going to have to change it. You know, you're there, and then of course with that, other companies are going to try and patent theirs, their gestures, but then which is going to leave other companies having to, you know, it's going to go in a huge change. But that's business, guys. You know, they have to do it, and uh, and if they, Apple gets this, that's great on their part. You know, they've been working this hard, and hard lately, and it's great on the new products. And uh, you'll probably just see more and more uh, uh, gestures by Apple and other companies out there, of course. Uh, so you know, they really have to get, get unique see what, you know, what people are going to have to do, maybe triple tapping, you know, we really have to see what uh, the market and other manufacturers out there do with these iPhone, uh, the uh, touch, you know, stuff like the touch gesture, uh, the touch screen control interface, stuff like that. Uh, those are main things that Apple's really been trying to get, uh, get a patent on. Uh, so, yeah. So the um, what else is there? The also the advanced multi-touch gestures uh, control panel basically what runs it all. Uh, they're also something Apple's been trying to get patent on. So a lot of things are trying to be patent guys. And if the iPhone already has 200 
uh, pads all alone. We have to see what will happen, and especially with this MacBook Pro update. Who knows, guys? Uh, it is very possible that they have a great percent of chance getting this, and Apple's a pretty big company. So we have to wait and see, guys. Uh, anyways, that's the uh, first edition of Apple Tech, I guess you could say, or Apple Talk, whatever you want to call it, it's fine with you. Uh, I hope you guys join, and I just, you know, will Apple patent pinch? What do you guys think? Uh, do you think it's, well, it is very much possible, but what do you think? Do you think it'll happen? Do you think the patent will go through? Do you think they'll bounce? You know, what do you think will happen? What are your opinions on this? Feel free to leave a text response for your sponsor. Email me at kidgrewcenter at gmail.com or even here on YouTube. And yes, thanks for watching.